Hello Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 24th of April, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.54 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Important messages that they need to hear today. Ten of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's something new in the horizon with the Ace of Wands. For some of you, you could be working towards it with the Three of Pentacles. If it's not happening right now, this is what's coming in, okay? So Three of Pentacles, working towards a new endeavor, something new. It could be a new relationship or a new job, a new project, a new career, something new <laughs> something new is come it's 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 in the making it feels like because the three of pentacles indicates work in progress so it's like progressing so that this thing can like open um i'm saying open because these leaves here i, I just saw like how it like opens um opens up like more branches like turn, turning it into tre a tree or flowers blooming so this for me indicates growth so something about a new very exciting something new is something new very exciting that i think you will um be embarking on or you currently could be embarking on two swords in reverse indicates a decision that i feel i feel like this is a decision where it's not going to be easy or it hasn't been easy if it has already happened because the five of cups here feels like you may feel a little bit sad to have to leave behind something right in order to embark onto this new thing new journey a new project, something new again. The devil here is, is in reverse, disconnecting yourself from something that doesn't just doesn't serve your highest good anymore. And the king of wands here in reverse, something that doesn't make you feel like exciting, excited anymore. It doesn't make you feel alive anymore. I feel like this is that energy where it's good because you're detaching, right? You're detaching um, something that doesn't work for you anymore. So now i see you embarking in something new some of it's a new relationship okay for some of it's a new career again the chariot here is in reverse what's disappointing about this is that i mean with something that didn't work out for you in the past is that you initially thought it would be successful you initially thought that there could be a future but then something happened here right with the wheel of fortune in reverse something unexpected because the wheel can turn anyways it you know I'm sure you have seen or you've played one of those, uh, what do you call it? If you go to those, they call it fun fair, you spin the wheel wheel to see what you, what you win. So it could stop anywhere. We can kind of gauge where you want it to stop, but at the end of the day, it's not completely up to you, right? So, so something unexpected that wasn't part of your plan. It just, I mean, whatever you plan it just didn't work out right so it feels like now there's a new thing that you could be working on and with the ace of wands um something new that i feel like it's gonna make you feel like yes finally i feel much more exciting much more excited about this new endeavor the ten of cups here lovers again can indicate you may have to leave friends or family behind or something that you're familiar with behind and maybe ten of cups and lovers can indicate also that 
um, there is some sort of a disharmony, okay, between you and the people you worked with, or it could be your environment, um, that you just had to disconnect eventually, okay? Um, it could be a person as well, if this is a love um, connection. We've got the two swords in reverse. I see you making a decision to start something new, okay? And you're going to feel much more rejuvenated, much more energized, hopeful, inspired. Okay, let's uh, see more cards here. Yeah, the past, let's just leave it in the past, but the judgment here in my verse indicates maybe there could have been some bad judgment calls in the past, and it may have affected you, your finances with the Queen of Pentacles in my verse, or a sense of stability, a sense of um, comfort. Like, it feels uncomfortable, that's what I'm getting here. Uh, where you were at, or currently, could be uncomfortable, but there is something at work here with the Three of Pentacles. If not, Spirit's going to be encouraging you to speak to certain people who may be able to help you or give you advice to have this new start with this Ace of Wands. With this Ace of Wands here and Page of Pentacles. Take the advice, that's what I'm hearing here. Take the advice from somebody who has um, some input, okay? Input that I feel is valuable because the Pentacles indicate something that is valuable. It could be from a friend or someone who has some sort of expertise in that uh, arena, okay? So we've got the Six of Pentacles in one verse, and then we've got the Three of Wands in one verse. I see you turning your back on things that don't work out for you anymore. Six of Pentacles in one verse, because it's just not, it's just, <laughs> it's, it just doesn't serve your highest good anymore. You're not getting anything out of it, okay? Some of you, again, it could be related to money, career, some of you could also be related to health. You may be changing your diet. It's so basically saying it's time to change your diet. Something new again with the Ace of Wands here. Hmm. Some of you may have this discussion through your pentacles. Um, you might get called in. I'm hearing a lawyer. If you have a lawyer, or a lawyer might get in touch with you and say... They have something for you that, you know, ten of cups that belongs to someone that you know or a family member. I don't know. This part of the story is a very specific and that's just for some of you, okay? Yeah, specifically saying to be careful of wrong judgment calls, judgment and the devil here. Marvis. I see you just releasing bad habits, bad diets, uh, Learning from your lessons here, Five of Cups and the Judgment in my verse. Some of you, it's money lessons. Some of you, it's uh, career lessons. Some of you, it's romantic lessons, okay? But the Page of Pentacles, Page is also a messenger, so you may hear some news. But it's good news because it's in an upright position. A news, a reward... An advice, but it feels like good news. So the thing is, this news, when this person approaches you or when this person contacts you, the two sorts of moments, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision to whether follow your passion, your desire, or to think for other people here with the Ten of Cups here in my verse. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Mm. Yeah, I have a second channel that I'm reviving because I've abandoned it for a while. But I've started posting more and more shorts on that, on my travel channel. So sometimes I give tips or anything that i i think could be useful for people or yeah sometimes i do it just for fun <laughs> check it out if you want to um i'm leaving that link or should i say I, i'm leaving it on the end screen where you, you can see my face there and you can click on it and it says subscribe to my travel channel you can click on it, it takes you to my travel channel okay and yeah what else 
I'm not sure if I already mentioned this. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I think I've already mentioned it. And last but not least, if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button, all right? Take care, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, and I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.